My name is Nicholas Meyer. I write and direct movies and sometimes novels. Uh, you don't direct novels, you just write them. Um, and my film, Time After Time, is being honored here at the Bilbao Fantastic Sci-Fi uh, Film Festival. So I'm very happy to be here. The time is 1893, and novelist and inventor H.G. Wells invites you to join him on a flight. Time after, first of all, I should say that, you know, artists are not the best judges of what they have done. It's up to other people. So I can't tell you what my movie is about. I can only tell you what I think my movie is about. I think my movie is five movies wrapped in one. It's a romance. It's a thriller. It's a comedy. It's science fiction. And it is a kind of a social commentary. Not so happy social commentary. But it's all wrapped in one. And it's about the young H.G. Wells, who has built a time machine. He doesn't just write about it, he's built it. But he hasn't used it yet. He's a little nervous. But somebody else uses it first, and that's Jack the Ripper. And Jack the Ripper escapes to the 20th century in H.G. Wells's time machine. And Wells has predicted that in the 20th century will be a socialist utopia. And so he now feels responsible for having unleashed a homicidal maniac on the socialist utopia. And since the machine always bounces back to its point of origin, he gets in to go after Jack the Ripper. And that's the conceit of the movie. So it's a romance, it's science fiction, it's, it's a comedy, and it's a thriller all in one. Always wanted to direct. That was, everybody always wants to direct. I wanted to direct. But the question is how to, how to do it. And the way I did it was by writing. And I wrote a novel called The Seven Percent Solution in which Sherlock Holmes meets Sigmund Freud. And that became the number one best-selling novel in the United States for many months. And then it got made into a movie. I said, well, you can have the book, but I have to write the screenplay. So I wrote the screenplay. And that screenplay got nominated for an Oscar. So then when I wrote Time After Time, I basically said, you can, I'll sell you the screenplay, but I have to direct the movie. So I kept leapfrogging, is how I got there. I think that if you live long enough, if you survive, then it's like good news and people start making a fuss over you. You still here? Oh, that's good. Um, and so I, I think one of the things that I'm happiest about is that people still love Time After Time. People still love The Wrath of Khan. My, one of my, I've made two Star Trek movies that I directed and I wrote three of them. So the fact that they're still around after 45 years, 35 years, and that people still respond to them means a lot to me to make something that lasts while I'm still around to enjoy it. Greetings to everybody from the Bilbao Science Fiction and Fantasy and Horror Film Festival. I hope you all have a wonderful time and see every movie. <laughs>